we realized five transnational workshops. That was the five steps that we have described during this meeting. And let's say more than 300 participants, stakeholders participate to, this, to those transnational workshops. Chipnet was at the beginning only a project with seven countries. And as already mentioned at the beginning, Chipnet was totally an open network. And so other countries did join uh, the project during the three years. So again, that's very important to show that it's not only the seven countries who will benefit from the result, but this is wider and this is very important also for us. As you already mentioned, team 59 innovative chief funds have been involved, participate, propose solutions, propose practical solutions, um, participate to uh, videotapes, things like that. So that was very important also to have those innovative farms. 19 national workshops have been linked with ShipNet, which is also the aim of those kind of thematic network. So I think that we performed perfectly, uh, realized perfectly what was expected also on this. We did a survey on what's, what's the feedback on ShipNet uh, from the stakeholders. We did it in Algero, so that was step four. Um, during this uh, survey, we have here the five main answers, uh, rank in order of importance. So the first thing that stakeholders say that ShipNet is a good thematic network in order to exchange between countries, but also to exchange between different types of people, farmers, advisors, scientists, and so on. That's very interesting to have showcase thing during the different meeting to show practically the different solution. The relevance of shared practice, solution and tip and tricks. That's very important to say that we may have a need in France, in Turkey, and maybe UK get the solutions, and that's to have also those kind of thematic network, not to recreate the wheel. And to take into account, of course, the grassroots needs at the beginning of the project in order to provide relevant answers to what is expected from those who will perform it, implement it. So this is the shipness story. This is what we wanted to tell you. This is what we did during this project. Of course, this is not finished. Before we close the meeting, there is, a, let's say, a new project that will follow ShipNet called Euroship, and that's Pierre Guillaume who is going to coordinate this uh, project. So, firstly, I wanted to say that I'm ShipNet, you are Euroship. <laughs> <laughs> so, I give you the floor. Now you are leading the meeting. <laughs> It's your turn to speak English. Thank you. It's okay for the picture, I can... No? Thank you. Uh, so, Euroship, yes. Um, I will speak about a little time about uh, Euroship, yeah. and after we will move and have a drink. But after we will stay and listen to Jean-Marc. <laughs> <laughs> so Euroship will be based um, on uh, ShipNet uh, strengths because Ship ShipNet uh, was a very good project with a very good project leader. Uh, and uh, this uh, strengths, um, the first one was the multi-actor approach. Uh, it was still but uh, with researchers, advisors, farmers, and also others. Um, with uh, many exchanges, uh, uh, experience sharing with a uh, top-down but also bottom-up way, and also with an intense cooperation between uh, each uh, stakeholders, 
and the main important, the cross fertilization. So you can see it's really simple. <laughs> and uh, this is the strength of, uh, of Shipnet. And we will keep this uh, very clear organization. Okay. Uh, your ship will be based on uh, your needs. Uh, during Algeo, we ask you wha what uh, were the strength of uh, Shipnet, but also uh, if you were satisfied and if we want to to carry on uh, in the future. And uh, everybody was clear, uh, every everyone were satisfied and want to Shipnet to carry on. And the exchange topics uh, which are requested were uh, animal health, animal nutrition for sustainable and viable farms. So, um, the new thematics will be to go toward the economically viable and sustainable meat and dairy production. Of course, we keep the two productions uh, and exchange uh, around the farming practices uh, once land is born alive, because we will be in the continuation of the shipment. So we will work uh, on uh, free animal categories, not the pregnant use, because uh, you already worked on it on Shipnet, but milking and anti-use, lambs and replacement. And on health management and animal nutrition management. Of course, we will have multidisciplinary approach as for Shipnet with uh, so health, nutrition, but also labor, uh, environmental approach, uh, economical approach, etc. <coughs> so, to resume, Shipnet, it was seven countries. Uh, we, uh, we worked on ship productivity, the main uh, architecture and organization was with uh, the national and transnational workshops, with a budget, 2 million euro, but just to you know a budget, and the European network was set up and relying on uh, the ICS or every stakeholders through multi-actor, multi so every kind of stakeholders and every disciplinary to go to uh, productivity. And on Euroship, uh, we unfortunately lose uh, one country, Romania, but we win two new countries from uh, Eastern Europe, Hungary and Greece. We will work on uh, nutrition and uh, health and uh, with different animal categories than uh, sheep net. We, we also be based on the national and transnational workshop, but we will add uh, other cross visits to improve dissemination, because uh, we will have the same budget with more countries, and we will uh, have an eff more effort on the practical knowledge and the exchanges because the, the goal is to improve the dissemination. No shipnet uh, exists. We will be based on this beautiful project and the, we know the, the brand and we, we can capitalize, capitalize on it. So we will have the benefits from shipnet experience with a better organization for dissemination. So thank you and thank you for your I really like your ship. Um, you may have questions. Stay here, please. Don't leave. You may have questions on this new project. It's a really hard work, but not, not, not only uh, Antonello, of course. Uh, I was waiting that you were sending in some books. <laughs> Anto, but we are also a lot of people who did participate to this project some work package leaders, which really uh, keep on track the uh, things to do during the project. So, Cathy Royer, thank you, and come here, please. Roberto.
So there are also some other work package develop team who has work package leaders as well. And um, we are also some other partners who have been really deeply involved in the project INRA and the vet school. So Fabien, please, because he was also at the start of this project. From INRA, Dominique, if you want to be here to... Yeah, please. And there are so many people in the shadows that we never see that do a wonderful work. Because all those workshops that we have organized, you can imagine that it's not only us who did the organization. That have been organized by a lot of people. A lot of people have been involved, some from the scientific and technical working group. I won't ask them all to come here. But I wanted to have a special thanks to Emmanuel, who come here, Emmanuel, please. Because for each national workshop and transnational workshop, she really helped me to organize it. You don't know this, but that's also the brain of the organization of the different meetings. So, very warm welcome, uh, Emmanuel, for this. Some other people really uh, can be enjoy, participate and join the project by their own, with their own funding. I think about the Hungarian because they really showed us that it was possible to open the thema ship net to other countries. So please come here because that <laughs> gives us you know, hope to open it. So, thank you for this. so, so many people to thank. All those people did a really wonderful work. I was very, let's say, proud and I had a big chance to work with all those guys. I will be a bit sad when they will be finished. <laughs> but this is like this. Um, thanks to all of you because you support me. Sometimes you <laughs> accept what I was in mind. So thank you for all of this. But what I really want to thank is all the participants, and that's all of you, because without you, ChipNet does not exist. So thanks to all of you. And I think that we can applaud them. So now that's the end of this meeting, but that's not totally finished. Uh, what we suggest just after, please, we go straight to have a group picture, because after that, that would be complicated to have all of you. So first things to do just after get out of this room is to go to the